Chika chiki chiki boom boom boom. You sure this is the best sporty scooter for me? This yellow looks kind of okay. Around 9.4 bhp. This is also shorter by a hundred millimeters, right? This is long. It's like a limousine. You sure this is the best sporty scooter for me? Of the next. Hey there, guys. What's up? GTA, a brand new one plus six. अभी सब्सक्राइब करने पे आप भी जीत सकते हैं एक ब्रांड न्यू वन प्लस सिक्स राइट यू डोंट बिलीव मी रे वॉट हाउ डू नो माई नेम दैट्स राइट सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड यू विल नो मोर बट फॉर नाउ लेट मी सॉल्व योर मोटरिंग क्वेश्चन कंफ्यूज बिटवीन दी एस एन टॉर्क और दर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव राइट इफ आई गॉट दैट राइट It like exactly. I mean, I have these two brushes, and I still don't get it. Then I am into him, John. Say, kaisa chal raha hai wah, John? Sab badiya. Lekin mera naam John nahi. Varun hai. Ha 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 ha. Brushes, they tell you enough, but not enough. It's like judging a book by its cover. Sorry, wrong reference. It's like watching the trailer of a movie and hoping to be entertained. And that is why these two scooters can be confusing. Allow me to explain why. Firstly, we'll start off with the power to weight ratio. Does it really make a difference? 100 kmph is a feel good number and both of these scooters will reach there eventually. But with these scooters, most of your riding is going to happen somewhere between 0 to 80 kilometers per hour. The Entox pulls marginally better than the SR125 anywhere in this range, largely due to more torque on offer. and then you are being constantly egged on by this aggressive sounding exhaust the power delivery on the entox is smoother there are no unwanted vibes and the fueling is efficient on the other hand the sr125 feels a little gruff in comparison there are some vibes involved and the power delivery is a little irregular but both these scooters have perky acceleration and will surely plaster a smile on your face एंटॉर्क ज्यादा भागता है तो पेट्रोल भी ज्यादा पिएगा ना मेरा पॉकेट मनी देखकर तो मेरा पॉकेट भी शर्मा आ जाता है वरी नॉट नॉर्मल एवरीडे राइडिंग ऑन द एंटॉर्क गेव अस 40 किलोमीटर पर लीटर एंड द एसआर गेव अस 37 बट इफ यू आर थ्रोटल हैप्पी व्हिच इज प्रोबेबली व्हाई यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ स्पोर्टी स्कूटर द नंबर्स आर 36 फॉर द एंटॉर्क एंड 33 फॉर द एसआर That's fine. Your roads are nice and smooth, but मेरे घर से कॉलेज जाने में उतना ही रोड है कि समझो वहाँ पे कभी रोड हुआ करता था. And that's why. अभी लाइक करने पे आपको मिल सकता है अंबुजिया, जान वाला सीमेंट. And that's why the suspension setup is so important. And here's where the SR comes into its prime. Stability at high speeds. The longer wheel base and bigger tires come together wonderfully well and swift change of direction makes the SR's handling feel unscooter like. The Entox on the other hand feels light and unsettling and does not inspire confidence. But of the two, the Entox is more comfortable. It is also maneuverable because of the smaller footprint and that seat height is adequate for almost everyone out there. And pillion seat for my girlfriend. <laughs> Lol, Ray, you don't have one. Come on, man, concentrate on your studies and then on these marvels. But like someone once said, if you want to impress the ladies, it better be big. And that's the party trick of the SR125: bigger size wheels and a meatier suspension. On the other hand, the Entox has got a supple setup. While both these scooters weigh nearly the same, the dimension and the ergos. On the end, dog makes this a lot easier to ride in tight traffic. But brakes, how sir? The TVS Jupiter gets sync braking, but the end dog misses out on that, and so does the SR125. But both these scooters get a disc on the front and a drum at the rear. But the real question is, how well do they work? Let's take a look. The end dog does not have the most definitive bite on the front, but manages to hold on well once you squeeze both the brakes together. The SR, on the other hand, has a terrific front brake, one that will remind you of a sporty motorcycle, and you almost don't feel like using the rear. But most of you will use both the brakes on these scooters, and in our 60 to 0 test, the SR takes top honors. क्या आपकी मम्मी आपसे घर का सामान मंगाती रहती है? Well, इन गाड़ियों में है smart storage feature. 
जो आपको मिलेगा बिल्कुल मुफ्त स्पेस स्टैंडर्ड फॉर मोर स्कूटर्स टूडे यू हैव ए हुक टू हैंग योर थिंग्स एंड यू ऑल्सो हैव दंडर सीट स्टोरेज ना ऑल ऑफ दीज पीपल यूज दैट टू कीप दियर हेलमेट माइंड डजन फिट इन एंड इट्स राइट एनी वे वाई बेक इट वेन यू कैन टेक इट You can easily place a cake inside the SR. However, on the Entoc, you can place more than a cake. It also has a LED light to ensure your cake will look good in the Instagram picture. You can also charge your phone in the Entoc via this under seat USB charger. Minute fast charge my phone. Just like your phone ray. This one does not have fast charge, but you can win the dash charging OnePlus 6 if you were listening. DSR gets an old fashioned analog instrument cluster and the fonts are barely legible at night. The Entoc has a smarter instrument console. The Entoc console is like a gaming console except that it is not. You have all the necessary information that one needs. Speed, odo, trip, fuel, temperature and even gets a low fuel indication. But the biggest deal here is Bluetooth connectivity. You can receive calls and even navigate through traffic. Navigation. How? If you want to know more about the features of the Entox console, click here. I think now I know which one suits my needs the most. But if you had to pick one, which one would that be? The SR150 is as close to being an all-round scooter. The SR125 feels like a cost-cutting version of it. Now, there are a few things that don't work in its favor. For example, this When you want to put the scooter on the main stand, there's nothing that you can really hold on to. Plus, when you're about to do that, this kick gear gets in the way. It's not fair to vertically challenge people. The switch gear does not feel as premium, and the low-speed ride quality is a bit harsh. The Entoc, on the other hand, feels a lot easy to live with every day. It has better refinement, is nimble, has a heck load of features, and is cheaper. Cheap enough. so that it can fill up its tank 10 times more than the SR125 but at its limit the SR125 outperforms it thus satisfying the true enthusiast but if you would love to see a 160 a 180 or even a 200 cc and talk from TVS now that would be a true fun scooter wow now i know what to buy thank you john to jaise ki dekha aapne re ke mann mein the sawal aur humne unko diye jawab अगर आपके भी मन में सवाल है तो ड्रॉप इन दोस्ट कॉमेंट्स इफ यू हैवन डन दैट ऑलरेडी योर लेट नाउ आई डोंट नो इफ वन और टू ऑफ यू विल गेट अ वन प्लस सिक्स बट ऑल ऑफ यू विल गेट फन मोटरिंग कॉन्टेंट माई नेम इज ईशान एंड आई एम महान आई